If you're a student and you're going to be using Canvas Studio, here is how you will do that. You can click Studio on the left from the main navigation. This navigation is outside of any courses and you will be taken to your studio library. So you click the record button on the upper right and you can either create a screencast or you could turn on your webcam and create a video with you in it. Even if you create a screencast, you might um, be able to keep your webcam on. So you wanna keep that in mind too. So let's talk about how it's gonna work. You might have to download a little piece of software. Um, and once you've done that and you get started, you'll see this menu pop up on the bottom left for a screen recording. And here's where you can decide, just my screen, do I wanna have my webcam on and no screen, or do I wanna have both? You can also decide if you want to do the full screen or if you want to choose a different size for your screen. And then you can click and drag. Um, here, decide if you're going to record any computer sounds. And then you simply go down here and click record. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you get a three second countdown. Now I'm recording my screen. This is what it looks like to use Studio from a student point of view. I'm recording the Studio screen, I don't have anything in my library. But maybe my teacher in one of my courses has asked me to create a screencast about something I've done. So I go to the course, or maybe she's saying, or he is saying, you know, go out to the web and search for a resource and record a video of how you did it. Maybe you have a document on your screen or slides and you want to talk through those. And you just keep going, you do all your recording, and then you return to your studio page or you just look on the bottom left and you click I usually say click the pause button and then you click done when you click done you're going to wait patiently you know you see your screen recording pop up here and this is for studio for students you can add a description if you like and you click upload and then what's going to happen is this video is going to upload into your studio collection now, the benefit to this is that when you create an um, when you're in an assignment, you can add this video to your assignment. Sometimes you might even be able to use Studio directly from an assignment. So let's refresh my Studio library. You'll see that now my Studio video is right here. And if I have an assignment, let's just go over to one of my courses and show you how you can add that to an assignment. So here's an assignment. I'm just gonna use any assignment that I have assigned to me. So for instance, here's how to wear a mask. This is just a pretend assignment. But um, in fact, here's a video right here that was recorded in Studio, I can tell because you can see it's on Studio. And then when I click Submit, if I'm submitting a Studio video, I click the little button on the toolbar that looks like um, a YouTube play button and a musical symbol. And I can go ahead, oh wait, wrong button, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna go over here to the external tool or apps button. You're gonna click Canvas Studio. And then here's your video, you just select it. You can decide if you're going to allow comments on the video. For instance, say you added this to a discussion or somewhere where your um, other fellow students would see it and maybe you want to allow comments or not. That's up to you. And then you click embed. And now that video will be embedded in your response. It's really quite simple. Um, if you were going to, let's for instance, come in here and click Canvas Studio, it goes to the library. So you can also from here launch the recording and do it right from that window. So if you don't have the video made in advance, you can always do it after the fact using this record button after you click the apps button on the toolbar, which is this button right here, the one that looks like a plug. So that's Canvas Studio, pretty simple to use um, and available to you to use within any of your courses, assignments, discussions, any resource where you have that toolbar with the apps button, you're all set to go.